As we set up our camera, we're going to start with what I call the major line items. And those are the things that are going to make all our pictures consistent from one picture to the next and make it as simple as possible. The first major line item we're going to look at is picture size. You know, this is a Canon 6D. And I can get an image that is somewhere around 20 megabytes. And literally, I could, I could blow up a poster the size of the room of this wall. We want to take our photos in the largest image size possible. We never know when we want to take an image that we put on our website and actually blow it up to put a poster at a, a bridal bazaar. Or I even have some friends that have actually done wraps on their car with before and afters marketing their business. So the largest size possible of the photo. So what we do on the Canon is we push menu and then the menu comes up and the very first thing is image quality. We have the option of either having a large, medium, or small image. I would always recommend having as large as image as possible. What we do is we push the set button and we can rotate this disk as it goes from large to medium to small. It used to be that people would take smaller images because storage was expensive, memory was expensive. Now memory is very inexpensive. So take the photo as large as possible. The second major line item is setting the mode. I prefer to shoot on manual mode. Then we'll have total control of our flash as well as our aperture and what we call the f-stop. We'll talk a little bit about that. So on the Canon, we just rotate this and we're going to turn it until it's on M, manual mode. The next major line item is the ISO. Now the ISO setting is not as critical with our computerized flashes as well as digital as it was in the day when we actually used film. For those that took film in the past, you remember you actually would buy film that were different ISOs. Typically, we like to keep our ISO as low as possible. And the ISO is basically the sensitivity of the camera to light. I like to set mine at 400. You could set it as low as 100. The problem is that then the camera says there's not as much light, and then the flash puts out more, more light, and the batteries do not last as long in the flash. So what you do here, here's the ISO. You can see mine set at 400. To change that, on the Canon, there's a little button that says ISO. I'm just going to push it once. Then I can just take this dial and move it until I get to 400. Again, the key with this is I want it the same from the before picture to the after. So either 100 or 400, I prefer mine at 400. The next line item is the focus. On your macro lens, on the focusing ring, you actually have a little switch that is, says either AF, autofocus, or MF, manual focus. Because we want our magnification of our photos the exact same from photo to photo to photo as we do our before and afters, we want to use manual focus and then we'll set it at a certain magnification and then we'll move the camera in and out until it's in focus. If you put it on autofocus, as you get close to your subject and you push halfway down on the shutter button, the lens will actually change trying to bring it into focus. Then my before shot will not be the same magnification as my after shot. So manual focus. This is something that we want to check every time we take a photo because you saw how easy that was. And there's a good chance as I go to put this camera away, I accidentally hit that. And then I come to take the next photo, whether it be the same patient or another patient, and it's on autofocus. So we're going to look at manual focus.